Nathan, huge congratulations, British champion, but that was quite a dramatic competition. It was, it was. I said to Sam at the end, I was like, thanks for putting me under so much pressure towards the end, but that's, that's competition and that's what you want. Um, you know, it's been a strange year for all of us, that's for sure. And I've only had three competitions. I've competed in non-Eaton, um, very hard conditions as well. And today was the same, very tricky. Wind was swirling, one minute would be in your face, one minute would be behind you, hence all of the fouls. And I think, you know, the distances weren't great by any of us today. You know, they weren't really to be admired. But I think the fact of it's been a really tough year for everybody. I think you have to go hats off for everybody that's made it here. You know, that's actually shown the discipline to be able to train, to go out and just find a field or whatever it may be to actually train to be here. So I think, you know, every athlete you're seeing here today, I think, you know, it's almost round of applause, round of applause for everybody that's competing. You, you held the lead from the first round and then to lose it on the penultimate jump of the competition. What, what was going through your mind when you stepped on the runway for that final jump? Just nail it, really, just nail it. I knew that um, I'd been struggling, obviously, with the board because of the wind. So that's the factor. You're like, okay, you don't know what the wind's going to do. But at that point, you clear your mind, you run, and you hope for the best. And that was it, really. You know, I've got enough experience to know how to pull those jumps out. And so I think I just relied on that. I was going to say, that, that experience, how much has that equipped you for the, for the pressure that you were under then? Oh, for sure. But the thing is, at the same time, I love that kind of pressure. That's the reason I love to compete. So at the same time, like, for, the, well, for the first time in that comp in a nice way, it's like, okay, the competitions came and, you know, you have to rise to the occasion. So luckily I was able to do that. You mentioned you wanted to target an Olympics next year. Yes. How much does, does a competition like to have that national title really drive you forward and, and make you want to achieve that ambition even more? I think it's, it's nice. It's always nice to be British champion, for sure. We know that the, the depth wasn't here as usual, but as I just said, you have to be here. You know, and I think it shows, again, the discipline that people have had to be here to actually be able to compete. Um, but for me, it's nice. I think this is maybe my, my eighth British title or something like that in total. So it's, it's always nice to get a British title, but really it's just about competing and looking forward to 2021, making sure you're fresh enough to be able to compete and, and take it into next year. Yeah, all athletes are wearing the Black Lives Matter mm. um, on, on, their, on their bibs uh, this yeah. weekend. But, you know, you're, you're wearing it on your shirt as well. How much does that mean to you? And, and in all honesty, I was, I was thinking that today when, when I was competing. Um, I've been lucky enough to compete at two Olympic Games, but this is probably my most powerful bib I've ever worn, in all honesty. And for me, that, I think that says everything. I think right now, it's, it's, a, it's a huge movement that everybody has to be behind. And I think people are now realising, obviously, the issues that we have. And it's, it's about equality. That's, that's all people are, are, are asking for, for that same kind of chance, looking into systemic racism, etc. So I think it's a really important moment that we all stand up and we say, OK, we do know what's going on. Let's sort it out.